what's up ladies so just finished another workout um day two okay let me tell y'all i was so sore um i was so sore <laughs> My shoulder, I could feel it when I woke up this morning in my shoulders, but mostly my knees, okay? So, this is the, um, so far, the, the beginning stages of my workout. This is the issue that I'm having because of, um, you know, being, uh, I'm bottom heavy, you know, big legs, big butt. I carry the majority of my weight I carry in my bottom half of my body. And so, um, even though one of the ladies called me tall because I'm five, five and a half, even when I go to the store to buy my um, jeans and stuff, in the big girl store, I'm a petite because of um, I'm not really tall. I have to me, I have short legs. So like they have um, this, they have these great machines that curves. Ladies, if you haven't, um, if you don't want to do the gym, you don't want to uh, work out in the regular gym. I would tell anybody and everybody go to curves. Go to curves. The ladies there are so sweet. At least I know the one in, in in my area. Because I remember I had did curves before years ago, maybe like 10, 11 years ago. Um, and the one that I had went to before, they weren't really that nice. I mean, they were nice, but it wasn't like here. Here, you could tell it's like a family. The, just the ladies are so sweet they care about you um the lady came today kathleen came and walked me through my workout again and um like i said i'm having some problems with my knee so a lot of swelling in my knee when i woke up this morning it hurt really bad in fact i'm not gonna lie y'all i sat in this car for about 15 20 minutes i sat right out here before going in on the phone trying to get myself together to to go in here so but I did it and I had a really really good workout but um I skipped one of the machines um because it's hard for me like to to lift my um my legs up um they have this one like leg press machine and you have to like lift it up and I have like an issue with that so I skipped that machine but worked out extra on a couple of other machines um to make up for that machine so um and then as far as like my weigh in, they weighed me the, you know, the, the, when I went and signed up, I was 375. She said she's going to weigh me again after 12 workouts. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm a little bit tired yesterday. Oh my God. I was so tired yesterday. Woo. But, um, today I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. Um, and I'm thinking in my mind how I'm going to do this um, to, to make sure that I get this workout in and there's no excuse for me not to work out. So I push my clients forward the time that I start, um, especially with me now picking up my husband in the mornings. And so with him, I just never know exactly what time he's going to get off because um, because of the type of work he does. It's holiday season. They're going to be getting more hours. So like I found out, Saturdays are my busy days, so I pick my husband up, you know, go get fit this workout in and get to the shop. So they don't open until eight o'clock. Okay, so I said, okay, even if they don't open until eight o'clock, um, I can still fit that workout in. That mean even that means even if I have to pick my husband up because he he works a couple of doors away from curves so even if i come pick him up drop him off at the house drive back up here and get this workout in get it in i can bring my clothes with me you know and change here or run back to the house and change so i'm gonna make it happen either way i go i'm going to make it happen another thing i was thinking about is that um i'm so sore oh i'm sorry i gotta open this one i'm getting claustrophobia up in here Ooh. oh jesus <laughs> um I'm wondering, okay, because I just was so stiff, right? So what I did when I came in this morning is I went, they have that this awesome stretching bar up in there. Oh, girl, it just stretch your body out. So I did a couple of little stretches on there, and I walked a little extra on that little uh, recovery board. But um, I was telling Chris this morning about how sore I was, and she was like, D, you should walk. So I'm wondering if I should... Um, try to like get some kind of walk in first because I'm so stiff so you guys let me know what you think about that 
um the main thing is getting my butt here and, and working out so even if I didn't even go for a walk even if I just maybe walked push myself to try to get here a little earlier and spend like 10 15 minutes on that recovery board marching in place or something I need to do something to warm my muscles up that I know for sure so that's just something small but oh let me show you what I've got I got some little goodies I purchased this um can you guys see this it's a um steam cooker by curves and I got this to, to um so I can throw my vegetables in it and she said some of the ladies sometimes cook their chicken in it and um oh it says you can it says freezer microwave and oven safe up to 464 degrees and it's collapsible for easy storage cooks food in its own juices and preserves essential vitamins I guess and minerals but I got this um, my, my problem I have you guys is that if I don't plan my meals that's how I get caught up in fast food so I'm still working that issue out because I'm good for some fast food in a heart beat but if I plan everything it's easier and I got this little um little bowl set hope y'all can see it curves healthier eating on the go so I can put my food in here and um, take it with me to the shop that's my main thing when I'm at that shop working those long hours um, sometimes I won't even eat breakfast I'll be in there say if um, normally my clients will start between 7 and 8 in the morning okay on us on a weekend I work till about 12 or I say anytime between 12 and 2 that's when I get hungry I won't eat any breakfast okay so I'm coming in there so I'm coming in there won't eat any breakfast so you won't we say about the time by the time I finish my first client okay so I'm gonna finish that first client if I start at 8 I'm gonna finish my first client between 12 and 2 okay depending on how big the head is if it's a curly weave straight weave all that yada 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 so between 12 noon and 2 in the afternoon, I'm finishing up. That's when the hunger hits me. That's when I'm ready to eat anything, okay? And a lot of times, it's going to be some fast food. There's a um, little soul food place up the street, flowers, fish. I'm going to eat something from there or the other soul food place, JJ's, something from there. Sometimes it might even be some Taco Bell. <sighs> Or a Jack in a Box or a McDonald's, y'all know, okay. So to bypass all of that, because I have to stop it. I have to stop it not only just for health reasons, but also I have to stop it um, because it is very expensive. That fast food, me and that fast food, baby, that's an expensive habit. It is. I can blow through some money, okay. I can blow through some money real quick. Money just goes through my hands, so that's one of the things I need to stop so today um today I'm planning my dinner out ahead of time I have a leftover um I had purchased two rotisserie chickens from Costco I love their chicken the chicken is delicious um and it's already cooked and it's a big chicken and it's only like it's not even six bucks it's between like five and six bucks with tax so I have one I purchased one earlier in the week and and this is before I had even joined curves because I was you know trying to I'm trying y'all trying to take the necessary steps I need to take so I'm gonna do a chicken and probably either and probably like some um, mashed potatoes or something like that and a vegetable or even if I don't do a mashed potato we can do baked potato or something like that and a vegetable so and that's quick and that's easy and then I have I still have a um, some leftover salad I have some salmon in there so I'm trying to like plan my meals ahead of time the hardest meal it's easy for me to do the meals for myself and my husband the hardest thing is doing the meals for my um, my youngest son the 13 year old or well, he'll be 13 he'll be 13 on uh, next Tuesday um because he is so picky 
He is so picky, and I should be ashamed to say this, but it's my fault that the little boy lives on fast food, and thank God he has his daddy's jeans. He's skinny. But, um, he's just so picky. He's so picky. So, he's the hardest one to cook for, but if I plan it out ahead of time, I can get us all on the same page. So, that's the goal, and it's a short vid today. And that's pretty much it. And I'll talk to you guys all later. Oh, just wanted to say thank you to everybody who is watching the video. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your wonderful, um, beautiful, kind comments. I really, really, really appreciate it. it. It really means a lot to me. Thanks. And I'll check in with you guys later. Ciao.